Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. So it is a Lala Troni Shadow Fiend. Mm. And... Hmm. Uh, Not too sure about like in this game. <laughs> I you know he's in trouble with the tree. Yeah, shock is out. <laughs> he's out of there. Top lane, they get first blood on the Rubik, surprisingly. Uh, JP must have been super lucky with Zabashus, or Rubik has to have stepped out of position. But one, it, it contributes to uh, cogs as well, and they don't really cost a lot. No. Oh, bottom lane hijack. They get a kill onto Shaka with a nice setup from Tiny. That's good for Balrox. Not not feeling too nice if you're Ukamari. How oh, they want to full to zero, then go here. They might be able to do that. Oh, the Requiem is there as well. The Shrak in some trouble. The raises. Yep, it's enough. They get it. Void Spirit, he just used his time walk. That means Lycan's going in. Does have another time walk available on JP. Will use it as Drake forced to just farm up the creep wave instead. Ukamaru, they're bringing heroes in. They've got SF right on top of Nengo. Nengo dropping low. Won't be able to get the kill. There's the toss onto Yor right on top of Drake. Drake should go down here. Is left in the middle of nowhere. Lycan Alt has almost run out as well. Lalo Troni gets a nice clean kill onto the... Oh, hijack. Might be in some trouble. Oh, it's definitely in some trouble here. Lift up from the Rubik. There's the stun from the Lesh to follow up. Overgrowth, Death Prophet. Gonna have the Spirit Siphons, but you're not going anywhere. We'll pop the mech, and it's actually okay. This is huge. Now there's the hook shot. The Cox push back onto the Rubik. Rubik will fall here. Ukamari, get a prize. And that is... But at the same time, I think if they got a clean kill on Hijack, they could have taken more. Dyer's middle tower. Bottom lane, Shaka is just playing with them. As Lala Troni gets a huge kill onto DCMC with the help of Kiri. Incredible. Two quick kills they across the map. Yeah, thank thankfully they finally get Shaka in the bottom lane. As Drake actually just runs down SF with his ulti. That he would prefer Blink Dagger. Honestly, but maybe if if nobody gets to build it, I think he has to go for it. Max is just too value. Oh, oh you're taking big damage. Will fall here, and will get the demon. Will get the kill. One more right click. It's all they need. Now conversion on this top lane. Trying to fly away. Will be fly to fly over the cox and maybe over the cliff. No, not enough time for that. Oh no, Rubik. Goodbye, my friend. Although Shaka comes in with the mech. And now Ukamari are the ones on the run. Hijack in the area, closing in. Does have exorcism. We'll see if he wants to just pop it here. Won't pop it, but here comes JP with the Chronosphere available. Shaka, yeah, free kill. Does save the Rubik, though. So mission success. You into Chrono Roche, right? Like, Drake coming in, ultied up. But Roshan has already fallen. Lala Troni on the run, but... Does get a good JP does get a good chrono onto the Terror Blade. Requiemed hook shot as well. Terror Blade falls. And now the Bloodstone Lash doing what he can. JP just turns and fights. Will go down, but Nenyo will as well. Oh, actually, Nenyo's fine. Gets onto the high ground to safety with the overgrowth thanks to the tree and protector. And Drake will bring down Lala Troni's SF. Hijack's still trying to fight, but the rest of his team's already on the outs. Not sure you want to be here anymore. Hijack goes down. Ninja with a, with a blink dagger. Really likes this aggressive play. 16 seconds to uh, Chronosphere. I think that's when Ukumari will fight. Uh, but for now, though, they are in a bit of a lazy chase. Ari are looking to fight right now. They're looking to bring down this terribly. He does pop his BKB, so it doesn't matter. DCMC now ready to fight as the rest of Balrogs. I mean, Ukamari went for a cheeky play, but they're going to pay for it with their lives. A nice TP from Shaka is going to catch Lalatroni out here nice and early. Shaka does have no more mana for his ultimate, though, but the rest of his team on the hunt. Lalatroni, I'm not sure how you get out of this one, especially when Nengo blinks right on top of you. So they're going all in on this Lalatroni blow up here. He's going to go in Agonims. Speaking of Lala Troni blow up, that's exactly what they're looking for. But he's going to pop a BKB and ulti right on top of this Lashrak. Will get the kill onto Lash. Here comes Drake, pops his ulti, 
bashes hello they finally get the bash demon won't get away uh, i say that as he gets away because he's just <laughs> uh built completely different <laughs> oh the jet pack. Him, never mind never mind oh the hook shot yeah, Kiri's definitely been uh, an old MVP here. Oh, and they're going to get the toss back onto DCMC feared up as well. Can they bring down this Terror Blade before he bobs his BKB? No, he can't. They might be able to get him in this Chrono, and they will. Will pop the mech, but it's not going to be enough to keep DCMC alive. Now Demon stole the time dilation. Shaka into the SF. There's a nice hook shot. Connects onto the Rubik. Will get pushed into No Man Land as Hijack gets a double kill. Oh, I, I Three think, for one. I think we're oh, now firmly they... in this territory, and oh, they find oh. Lycan. Carry a beautiful toss back onto this Lycan. Drake feared up. Nowhere to go, though, to join his team. So a pickoff not very possible, but they're going to try for it anyways. Void going to try to burst him down, but he just jumps right in. Does have a Chrono available. Ooh. Will not use it, but does have it now for that second life. BKB done on the Lesh as well. He can't get stunned and blown up. That'll be very dangerous if he does. Toss back into his team to safety, but there's the Chrono. Connects onto two supports. Bye-bye, Tree, and bye-bye, Rubik. Just destroy the two supports on the side of Balrogs. Now, Ukamari smoke up. See if they can catch anything else here. Blade being able to truly join it, right? And they, they only lose two supports. They find maybe something. Oh, they oh. catch the Terror Blade, but DCMC gets his BKB again. It's not fast oh, enough. And now a buyback from Shaka. They are going to be able to bring down this Lycan with the Exorcism. SF will be the first one to fall, and now Hijack in a little bit of No Man's Land here. Has popped the Exorcism, but will fall nonetheless. And they lose the Clockwork, and Tiny somehow gets himself out of there. Kiri. Be done with his Hex. Yeah, he's going Hex Basher, with, which I absolutely love. Oh, and they see TB. Oh. They're gonna, just going to start things off with the Chronosphere. There's one raise and the second. Toss up, and JP gets the kill onto DCMC. Very clean kill on the Terrorblade. Shaka will fall as well. Uh, Clockwork will have uh, Aghanims in the next fight, so... That, that's that's a pretty huge difference maker. Lycan is no longer a problem. You actually become a, a quote-unquote counter oh, to Lycan. Oh, Death Prophet oh, Jeep to start up, and Death Prophet just melts. Five seconds to Chrono, though. So the, there, is a, there is a play for Ukumari. It's again Chrono into into Requiem or something like that. And I think it, 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 it would be a possibility for them to take a fight, even even though they just lost their TP. They will wait for Clockwork, uh, wait for maybe an opening on Tiny, and then go in. Oh, they got the Chrono, but they can't quite tell what the real one is. They do catch him. Here comes the ulti from, and the refresher from the SF. A triple kill on the SF with just ultimates. They blow three heroes up, and there's a fourth, while Latroni tells him to fear his presence. They just blow up the Lash. With, uh... Oh, speaking of blowing up, they blow up Shaka. They find him with that Tinker Ward. Which, might I add, some of my favorite wards in the game. These, uh, these high ground wards that they added. Oh, and they find the Rubik. Immediate sheep stick up onto Yor. Yor goes down. Chronosphere Ooh. connects onto three. They get everyone but the Terror Blade. But it doesn't matter, there's one ulti from the SF, and he's gonna just absolutely destroy them. Terrorblade, speaking of destroying, is gonna try to do some of that of his own. Lulatroni with the A on this, tries to get out, not able to. The toss up onto DCMC onto the high ground. I'm not sure that's where you wanna put this Terrorblade, though. As he <laughs> could just kind of right click around as they disengage away from him, but he's right on top of Hijack, Hijack dropping low. They do still have the Refresher Shard on Void. <laughs> they could technically Chrono this Terrorblade if things get too crazy. Shaka comes in, Void dropping very low. There's the Aegis down. Terrorblade looking for more. Tiny looking for something as well. They get the Terrorblade toss back. TB might be in some trouble here. They have the Refresher Shard if they want to use it. Aeon Disc popped onto the Death Prophet, and I don't think Terrorblade's going to be able to fight through this one much more. Hijack gets the kill. Did all waste a lot of time though. Yeah, all six considered. One, at least one Requiem. They do have the refresher possibility. Here we go, Balrogs. Let's see what they can do here. They're gonna try to catch the void, but instead it's Tiny who catches them all. But a sheep Hex. sticks on the void. He tried to get a chrono off. He can't, and he goes down. 100 seconds. No faces. Void. 
Hex onto Lalatroni as well. Can they get the SFA on this pops? Right now, the, his team is stuck in the cogs, <gasps> though. Oh my god, I can't believe SF got out of there. Uh, I, I thought he missed the start, but then I realized it was just BKB. It was so. <laughs> JP getting mass pinged here. They're going to try to make a go on him. There's the Lincoln's pop. JP in some trouble, dropping low the void. They get him 100 seconds. No faces void. Overgrowth for good measure as well. And now Clockwork Sheep sticked up, brought down where the creeps, the zoo of Lycan. That is so clean by them, by Balrogs. They just find the pickoff with the, with the usage of their hex. Oh, buyback. Double buyback, and here comes the SF as well. Pops one, Alti has another rec room available. It doesn't want to use it until this BKB Terrorblade is down. Ooh. Oh, the Chrono, a big whiff, but it might not matter. They're going to blow up this Terrorblade anyways. DP will get sheeped up. There's the Chronosphere. The second Chronosphere catches the Lash. Can they blow him up? They certainly can. Terrorblade bought back for this. Not sure this is where you want to be as DCMC immediately trying to get out of the area. They didn't anticipate the second chrono, but they can even go for something like an abyssal blade. Oh, they will toss back. Oh, the speaking of, yeah, blinking on top of you, Tiny catches one in the form of Trium Protector. Will instantly buy back. And Ukamari look to overtake the outpost. They won't be able to, but they get the chrono onto the, the Terror Blade. Trying to blow him up, but they're not quite able to. He's popped the Refresher Orb as well. He's going to keep going, but he doesn't have a Satanic available. Does get the Sunder off. Here comes the SF, The One ulti is all he needs. Doesn't quite get the other one off. There's the Aeon Disc. Void dropping low. Can they kill the Void? They can. That's 120 seconds, no Void. SF down for 100 seconds to Ukamari. It looked like they were taking such a good fight, but maybe they got a little bit over aggressive with that Shrine play. And now Lestrak tossed right back into Death Prophet. Buyback onto the Shadow Fiend. No creeps right now as Clockwork is doing a pretty good job of clearing that out. DCMC was next level damage SF, and that means he has to turn around and kill people. Something that's happening to Kiri, Kiri will be forced up to his own base, but, you know, buildings don't run. Buildings don't run. Very true. True words have never been spoken. Buildings don't run. They're going to toss up the TB Illusion, but that's not going to be enough. They catch the SF in the back line. Sheep sicked up. And this looks to be the death of SF. Oh, it does get his BKB off at the last second, but it doesn't matter as your Ancient is falling. At the end of the day, Defense of the Ancient is the game. And if you're not doing that, you're not playing to win, baby. <laughs> look, look at the fear duration. He was just running. It, it doesn't this matter. so long. It doesn't matter in the end, unfortunately, as GG gets called by Kiri. But uh, what a volatile game. I absolutely love it. That's what I came here for. That was absolutely brilliant. I have to... Well, if, if you need him to. Uh, but they're going to go for Naga. Oh, no. They're going to play... They're going to play Nation's Prophet 3. Why? Why do you want to do that? So I think it has... Gold. That's true. So That's true. Nature's Prophet exists. It's not the end of the world, uh, but at the same time, Naga also recovers better, and now in the bottom lane. Oh, a kill off onto Yor, first blood for Drake. You didn't have to worry about the enemy tree and protector. Um, I think the last game was uh, the tree and protector on the enemy team was one of the bigger reasons. Oh, Yor in the enemy jungle, caught by Demon as well as the Ember Spirit, Nengo gets a kill. And as, as we were saying, he is pressing this button. Oh, I absolutely love what Balrogs are doing. I think they're uh, Ancient Apparition, uh, which is not nothing. You you get this setup for Ice Blast, and it's great. Uh, now, fight breaks up. Yeah, Balrogs, they're bringing everyone here. They are going to be able to get out onto the Nature's Prophet. Ooh. Tusk will not be as lucky. <laughs> that was a lot of damage coming out from... Cup as well as the scan, going to connect on this TA and Treant Protector. I, I, I feel like this scan was not necessary. They, they should know that something is happening in this jungle. The Ice Blast will connect, though. Oh, they nail the TA, but the Overgrowth keeps them at bay. TA will go down to Lalatroni. But the rest of Balrogs coming in, looking for something, as, the, as everyone else on Ukamari are forced to TP out. But Lash left alone. Lala right, you've got Exorcism to deal with her and her illusions. You've got TA, you've got Ember Spirit. There's, and like, I don't know. There's just good heroes to deal with it. Mid lane, 
A good silence and a good stun up onto two. Magnetism is absolutely huge. Dango a double kill. And looking for more as they're going to connect onto yours as well and get him. Oh, that was so, so beautiful. He just crossed the whole map because it's a global ability. Maybe not cut down, but at least pushed it. Because of that, he also keeps up the buff oh. that gives him extra damage. JP, a song set up here, connects onto two. But they've already lost the Tusk. Lala Troni trying to get a return kill. Will get one on the form of the Earth Spirit. Naga Siren getting run down by Nengo right now. Will fall. JP DCMC gets the kill. And now the Lashrak Yule stop Lala Troni in some trouble here. Overgrowth will get used. And the Lashrak will go down. We are going to see Ancient, Ancient Apparition buy back. Throw out the AA Blast. But it's not going to connect. Drake, living armor, just trying to keep himself alive. Oh, and even the tip. <laughs> but, but now with uh, Templar Assassin coming with a Blink Dagger, I think they can go for some cute place. Actually, DCMC finds JP and just blinks out. That's not the target he wants to go on. No, he wants, like, the AA, if anything. And they're going to find the Treant Protector here. Shaka can't get the Overgrowth off. There's a kick in. Lash in some trouble right into the hands of DCMC. Will go down. A beautiful kick by Demon, and yeah, DCMC just destroys your one click is all he needed. That was a cooldown. Uh, but <laughs> I think he's coming for this tier one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Alright, Void Stone goes down on the courier. No orchid build up on the Naga Siren. Top lane. There are two heroes here onto the Templar Assassin. She's just gonna go invisible. And now a blink in, there's the the blink in, the roll in, and there's the kick forward onto the Lashrak. And Lash just, yeah, goes down. Bye-bye, Lashrak. Not too sure what Ukamari were looking to do there. Uh, uh, and then they would have a outpush in position 3 right now. They do have an outpush in position 3, but I don't think it's working out. DCMC, though, might be in a bit of trouble. Oh, DCMC, in a little bit of no man's land here. There's the overgrowth, and this big damage right now on the Lash. The Song of the Siren won't save him. And now Naga in some trouble as well. Ember Spirit on the high ground, roots up onto two. Here comes the rest of Balrogs right in the middle of it all. Nengo will get a double kill. Now they want the Lash again. Everyone's buying back. The Lash goes down. DCMC is dominating. Ages will expire, so all the while, TA is being brought up to full life in front of the Tier 4s as all five fall for Ukamari. Did he just drop his item? Yeah, he did. He, he dropped his item and picked it up again. Oh, uh, he left Berkeley looking impossible here for Ukamari. It's four to 22. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, man. I don't know, like Demon's been playing out of his mind on the Earth Spirit as well. This is a like Grandmaster Earth Spirit. One last fight for Ukamari here, I think. DCMC already, they've rooted up the Lashrak, they've got the kick in as well, they find Kiri. And Lash already popped the Bloodstone, stunned up again, and the Lash falls, they get the root up onto three of them. And here they go, DCMC unstoppable, Drake gets another one, four down for Ukamari again. And I mean, oh, DP just bought a Deso too! <laughs> I mean, they, oh, they get man. to do whatever they want. The animation is 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 prettier, right? And that's one of the reasons to buy the death later on Razor at least, because then you get a better animation for your attack. All right, GG is called. <laughs> Kiri, he calls it. Did you did you see what TA did? She bought three and dropped a bunch of mantle of intelligences in front of the radiant. <laughs>